Welcome to K1 World Grand Prix 2022 Japan. This is the K1 Super Bantamweight World Championship Tournament at the Tokyo Metropolitan Gymnasium. I'm Russell Goodall. And Nicholas Pettis. This is the K1 Lightweight uh, Super Fight between uh, Shuji Kawarada and Yuto Shinohara. Uh, Ka Kawarada coming well, from uh, the Crush uh, Lightweight Champion and uh, seeing if he can uh, prove himself here in the K1. Shinohara is also the uh, he's the champion of the Crush Superlight uh, weight and uh, also he came third place in the 2018 uh, K1 lightweight tournament as well. So no both have been in sort of this tournament stage and here they are in round one. <laughs> Shinohara always does that when he starts to fight, sits down on the floor and crawls into it for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> We all have our own rituals and routines. I remember him having a um, fairly long reach in his uh, both arms and legs. Shinohara, right? Yeah. Yes. Hey. One of those is slightly taller, eight centimeters taller than 180. <laughs> <laughs> Tactics is not really working for you. There's a lot going on without anything going on. <laughs> Yeah, right, with a lot of moves. I'm not so sure I can understand what's going on there. Right, right. Like, if you're trying to do that as a distraction, well, there should come something like leading up to or into something. Wait, what, what, what are others doing? Right? Yeah. yeah. It just seems like, you know, Shinohara's got it completely under control and just, like, you know, doing those basic things. Yeah. Just waiting for it. So that was round one. <laughs> As you uh, said, not a lot happening at the beginning there. But there was besides <laughs> too much going on there, like for real. Yeah, with the with the movements, right? Yeah. And just to entertain us between the rounds, there is a famous Japanese singer Kenichi Mikawa. <laughs> As the round, I don't know, I don't know if we can call him a girl, round girl, round guy, but anyway. <laughs> Anything to keep the fans happy, but yeah, what, what was happening there in the in the what was not happening there? <laughs> uh, I'm not quite sure what Karada was thinking in this fight because um, there was a lot of movement going on, mm. and uh, the, the it, for one thing, he wasted a round and a half of doing movements mm. that wasn't really helping him. Um, instead of just throwing punches and kicks, he was like you know dancing around. And then he changed tactics and went all the way in to figure out how heavy the other guy hits. Yeah. Uh, and again, it didn't help him. Oh, so let's see what he does in this round. Okay. 
Okay, round two. To be something completely different. Looks like he's washing his face there. Finally, he lets his hand go. Yeah. Ooh, so that was good. Hmm. At least more. Uh, yeah, way better than the first round. Yeah. Ooh, he missed a kick like that. <laughs> <laughs> it looked pretty close, but... Maybe there's more distance there when you can see it. Okay, look, if you're doing this peekaboo style... Yeah. You know, it's like, can he see F You need to hit. <laughs> right? Yeah. You can't just walk in there, you know. There's got to be something going on. How can he miss with that kick again? Maybe maybe he's not seeing. Like, maybe he's, he's covering his eyes up. It's just, I have to see. I don't think Shinohara's too worried about this at all, to be honest. Okay. Yeah. Shinohara is the long Korean K1, so I think Tony keeps Tarada kind of coming from fresh. Bit of a lesson, but we'll see, we'll see. On the other end, round two. Mm. Funny strategy because I don't think he's done anything in this round. Just hiding behind his green gloves. What is he trying to accomplish? This is what I don't understand. Mm. It doesn't make sense when I'm watching it. If he thinks that the other guy is going to box himself out and get tired or something, True. Yeah. maybe that's something you can consider, but this is not happening. She was almost puzzled by like, this guy trying to do that. The same bewildered. <laughs> we have, we have, you know. Yeah. And we're watching. But I mean, you look at these guys' fight records, right? So, you know, Karada has got 14 wins and three defeats. Six of those wins are by KO. shinohara has got 15 wins and six defeats. Six of them. So they both got six KOs. So they're pretty evenly, you know, yeah, yeah. paced out like that. Similar. But. I'm just not understanding the strategy. Yeah. It's got round three there. And there, the special round star right there was a uh, famous Japanese singer, Kenshi Mikawa. And now we are back in <laughs> round three. Oh, lightweight super fight. Okay, what happened here? I don't like that. Hey! 
So, so five techniques in one minute. How does this calculate if you think he's going to win this one? Unless he knocks him out. Yeah, no, I just find it very strange. No, I don't think so. I think he's completely comfortable with what he's doing. Same thing. He's just a standing sandbag for you right now. Why are you not following up with a low kick, for example? You know, perfect distance for everybody there again. That's three times in a row is exactly the same thing. for Shinoda. Yes. Yeah. I'm not sure about the uh, the scorecard, uh, but in my head, probably something like 30 to 28. Right. Definitely interesting. Stranger you You know, I would like to ask um, Karada what he was thinking in this fight. Yeah. What was the plan? Okada, 30 29. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, he won for sure. 30対29。青篠原。じゃあ、注目。30対29。青篠原。以上、判定3対0をもちまして、勝者青コーナー。篠原。優斗。You know how after a fight you're supposed to have like a, a little talk with your, with your team? Yeah. I'm sure these uh, two teams are going to have some serious talk with you after this fight. This is almost like one of those fights that's like, this what not to do with it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sort of yeah. No, because there was absolutely no plan mm. from uh, Karada. Absolutely none. If the, the, if the plan was to go in yeah. with the, the peekaboo style kind of guard and then, you know, punch out, he should have been punching. He should yeah. have gotten in there, he should have been punching. He should have been boxing. Happen, yeah, because even uh, he didn't. Shinohara here doesn't look too happy. Like Four attacks in one minute. Yeah. Four. By uh, All single like, shots, by yeah. the way. Four different single shot attacks. Not one combination. Yeah, he seriously needs to go back to the drawing board. With his trainers, and uh, I hope he does. Yeah, and uh, show us more about this fight. Because I like to see uh, Shiro how to fight, you know, with someone who's like much more active. Well, I remember his last fight was once better. Okay, yeah. Well, thank you very much for watching. This was the game on the Rocky Championship. And Nicholas Pettis.